so exciting to have both of you here today. Thank you so much, Jennifer and Kamal. It's, so you're based in? New York City. Okay, and you were based in Minneapolis, but now you've trans transferred bases, right? Yes, so I started out in Minneapolis right out of training, and now I am in Atlanta, so I'm very happy to be home. <laughs> Welcome back to Atlanta. I'm also based in Atlanta and I love it here, but I also did New York. New York was a great time. It's a great base for sure. I mean, the trips are amazing. It's some people find it challenging, but I love having two airports because it adds more flexibility. When I was first starting out, I was a commuter in Minneapolis, and that was definitely a challenge because when you are a commuter, you are on your time. On your day off, that's when you have to fly up sure. so that you can report on time for that next day when you have to report for your trip. And then also when you're done after you're tired from a three or four day trip, you've got to commute home. And so you've got to hope that you get back to the airport in time that you can catch your commuter flight home or you're gonna have to get a hotel or a crash pad or something like that so you'll have somewhere to stay so that's an expense that's on you and you've got to be a planner understanding the budget and your cost how stressful it can be when you're trying to make sure you get up there for your trip because it's just so much and I can definitely say once I was able to transfer because we are allowed to transfer it has definitely changed the job for me it's not impossible to be a commuter and to enjoy this job but I'm definitely suggesting that if any anyone's coming on as a first-time flight attendant, you want to live in base. If you can, do it. And I think you moved, right? Yeah, I was kind of discouraged by the idea of commuting and you always need to plan B. New York is one of the few bases where you have more than one airport, so I knew that was going to be a challenge of its own, so I wanted to just handle that and not commuting. It's part of the flexibility that we have at Delta, but it's definitely a lot easier to live in base. Definitely. So what's been the most rewarding thing about being at Delta? Just the autonomy and the flexibility that we have with our schedules, but also it allows you to do other things too. So you can be a flight attendant and fly your trips and all of that. But when you're not flying, if you want to have a part-time job or you know do something else, it's very possible for you to do that. You can explore hobbies, things that you didn't know that you were interested in because you have that downtime when you're not flying. What about you? So the most rewarding thing? Uh, I mean, I know we were supposed to love the journey, but it's all about the destination for me. <laughs> I've definitely really enjoyed seeing a lot of America. You know, your first few years, you're going to do a lot of domestics. And I've been to a lot of places that I never thought I'd go to that I've completely fallen in love with. Like Albuquerque is, you know, small and quiet, but it has some gorgeous mountains and rivers. It's kind of amazing how much you can see in 24 hours, by the way. I'm sure you guys for feel sure. the same way. Yeah, absolutely. I know you said you transferred bases, you transferred from Minneapolis back to Atlanta. That's another added flexibility is being able to explore those different places and think about maybe transferring bases. You can even do the one month transfer to test out a base before you pull on like a whole move, yeah. Thinking about the rewarding things, what have been something that has been really challenging for you? For me, the lifestyle, just getting used to being a flight attendant and what that means, it's a, definitely a different lifestyle than what I had before in my prior career. And just understanding some of those things that I've got to get used to as far as, you know, flying on the weekends, you're going to miss some birthdays, you're going to miss some holidays and some special events with your family, but being able to plan around those things. And so while you may not be free on a Saturday or Sunday, hit me up on Tuesday or Wednesday and I got you. You know, <laughs> it's one of those kinds of situations where you've just got to be flexible and understand what the job requires because the operation is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So you have to be prepared for that, especially as a junior flight attendant, because you're not going to always have the ideal schedule that you want no matter how much swapping and dropping and yeah. all those sorts of things you're not gonna have Milan this weekend and Paris next weekend so what's been most challenging for you at first it's a little hard to get used to the loneliness but you all you need is kind of a shift of perspective like sure I don't see my friends in my hometown as much but I've now made for friends all over in new places Flight attendants make the best friends for you because you know we all work the same job, we have the same lifestyle. And when you do get two or three days off, you get to text your flight attendant friend and be like, hey, let's go anywhere, let's have some fun. 
And your flight attendant crews sometimes become like a family. A family, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so you have a support system. You also have your FSMs, your managers in your base. I could definitely say that I've had great support both in Minneapolis in that base and in Atlanta, having the time to be able to reach out to my FSM and get to know them and they get to know me, not just when something is wrong, but just so that we know each other and we can yeah. know each other about our lives and what's happening and share pictures and things like that. It's just, it helps because you know that there's someone there that supports you. And it's not just my FSM. There are other FSMs there so that if my FSM is not around or on vacation, working, yeah. I have someone else that I can always go to and talk to. And the, just the base staff, honestly, the support systems that are there. Delta really cares about having different resources for their employees, not just your supervisor, but other programs that Delta has within the company that gives you that extra support. So when you are lonely on your layovers or when you're just feeling like some things are happening in your personal life, they give a lot of resources to us, but also your fellow flight attendants. When you get there, we call them the jump seat therapist because honestly, you sit there and you get to talking about your lives and you're sharing so many things on your three day trips or your four day trips. You get to really know each other and care about one another. And I've had such a great experience in these past two and a half years, just getting to meet people from all over. I've had so many customers come to me and just thank me for being there. And I thank them for being there. We That's share special sweet. moments, notes with one another. Talking about our customers, what are some tips about connecting connecting with our customers on the aircraft. I think it's important with any customer facing job really to remember that, you know, every customer is their own individual with their own individual story and you can't let one experience kind of bleed into the other. You have to represent the company and give everybody an incredible journey every time. So I like to start over with every customer, you know, it's a fresh smile with each one. And you never really know the customer's story. We get a lot of newlyweds. We get people that just left their loved ones, people that are flying to see their loved ones. They're all excited. Treating every customer with a fresh perspective and just bringing that Delta representation every time. And I think too, one of the things I love about Delta is they have that personal interaction. Absolutely. So, so that when we want to have that personal one-on-one -on -one connection, we know who we're talking to, we know who's with them, we know how often they fly. And that really creates a personal connection with them that we couldn't have if we didn't have the information available to us. Some of our premium customers even recognize you. Like I have one that flies between JFK and LA and he sees me and like flags me down and says hi. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's fun being like a part of their special moment for sure and to thank them for continuing to fly with us. All right, so what advice would you have for someone who wants to be a Delta flight attendant? I would say it's just, it's a life changing opportunity to be a Delta flight attendant, to join a culture of people who care about you, a company that has leadership in place, that cares about you, your career, and where you're going. It has been life altering for me in such a positive way, being able to meet different people, whether it's my fellow flight attendants or customers, and being able to experience the world in a completely new way. Be ready to tell Delta why you would be an amazing addition. If you speak another language fluently, that's a perfect opportunity to present that because we're always looking for people that speak other languages to come aboard. They get priority scheduling, they get a little bit more pay. But the language of destination speakers, one of the really awesome things that you get to see is that they are ambassadors for Delta on a global yeah. scale, you know, and it's a different experience to be able to see them and how they can make customers feel even more welcome when they come on our aircrafts and they are able to speak the language. Do we have any last words of wisdom? Stand tall, stand confident, ready to represent yourself, ready to represent the company, get ready for an exciting and challenging job. And I would definitely say this job is not for everyone. It's definitely a change of what you might be used to in a traditional nine to five sort of job. If you're willing to put the effort in and put the work in, Delta is going to be right there providing you the resources and the things that you need to be a success. So if you're ready for the challenge and you're up to it, I think you're going to have a really great experience.